Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am the Sunny Machine and today I'm going to continue with some tricks. This is going to be a little bit more advanced for streamer.bot. I want to show you this really cool thing that I found on the streamer.bot discord. There's all kinds of crazy stuff on there. If you guys are looking to just figure out some cool effects and ways that you can advance your stream setup and your stream layout. Today I'm going to show you a way to create a media source in OBS that then is randomized, which means you could have a folder full of hundreds of clips and videos and effects and all kinds of stuff. And you can have streamer.bot update that media source in OBS to be completely random, just pulling from the folder and you can trigger it through whatever you want, a timer, a channel point redemption, hotkeys, um, channel, commands, all kinds of stuff. Um, the way I'm using this uh, and the thing I'm going to show you today is going to be BRB and starting soon style clip rotation. So I like this for being able to send kind of montage of clips to my starting soon or my BRB screen that is completely random so that you don't have to have a video editor and have a bunch of people um, that you're trying to work with that are constantly updating these videos for your BRB and starting soon screen. So, and you can use this for other tricks too, for things while you're doing um, effects on stream. If you want something random to be pulled from a channel point redemption, obviously there are a lot of uses for this. So I'm just going to go over how to set this up, um, the way you kind of want to think about it. And I'm going to show you an example of how I'm using it on my stream, on my starting soon and BRB screen. So first thing I want to do is actually kind of tell you the limitations that come along with this method. Um, obviously the benefits are pretty straightforward. I'll cover those after I cover the limitations. The first thing you should know is that if you're using a two PC stream setup like I am, the randomized files and videos have to be on the same computer as streamer.bot and the OBS that's going to have the media source. So you have to figure out a way to use two versions of OBS if you have a gaming system and you want all your clips in your gaming system, or you just have to move streamer.bot and all of the clips and videos that you want to randomize onto your stream computer. So this is no problem. You should be able to easily move streamer.bot between whatever computers that you want. Um, I'm using a two PC setup. And I just use streamer.bot on my main system and the video clips on my main system and then pass them over using two instances of OBS between the two computers. So there's a lot of ways to do this. If you guys have any questions about how that works, let me know. Maybe I can make a video on that in the future. I'm definitely going to make a video showing you how to use a two computer setup with two instances of OBS running. That's the first limitation. You need streamer.bot needs to be on the same computer that the video files and the OBS that's going to randomize the media playback has to be on the same computer. The next limitation is a little bit um, kind of a disappointment, at least for now. Hopefully somebody works on this in the future and gives us a way to fix this, but you cannot go from one clip to the next according to the length of the clip. What I mean by this is that if a clip is three minutes long and the next clip is 45 seconds long, there's no way for streamer.bot to know when the clip has finished playing or how long it should wait to randomize and play the next video. All of that is under your own control of things like how this gets triggered. Now, if you're doing this as a channel point redemption, that's no big deal. You just, you know, make a cooldown that's as long as your longest clip or media source length, and then you never run into them being crossed over, or you can use the queue system in streamer.bot to make sure that it finishes um, within a specific cooldown. That said, if you're using this as a BRB or starting soon screen like I am, you kind of have to get clever and build in kind of stuff to fill in the gaps between one clip playing and another clip playing. Uh, one way to do this is to just not care about the total length and randomize the total length of a clip. And so what I've done is I've just said it's totally fine to have a clip play not the entire clip. I'm, I'm willing to let it be completely even more random, right? The amount of time that's being played on the clip. So if my maximum clip length is 
one minute and my shorter clips are 10 seconds, I just allow the 10 second video to just loop for a random amount of time before the media gets disabled. And I'll, I'll kind of show you how this can work. So basically the limitations are that you can't really set it up unless all of your clips are the exact same length, always one minute or 30 seconds, then you could set it up to just rotate to the next clip every 30 seconds and you're good. But if you have a bunch of clips that are different lengths, you're going to have to be either okay not showing the whole clip all the time, showing it for a random amount of time, um, or having gaps in between when the next clip plays. So you could play a clip that's 30 seconds long and just have it rotate a new clip every minute. And so your max length is one minute. So the one minute clips will play all the way through, but anything shorter than that, it will ju they'll just end. And then once a minute hits, it'll rotate to the next clip. There are ways to kind of like make a cool aesthetic and I'll show you what I did to kind of work around this issue. The other thing is you can give chat control over, you know, prompting another clip. So let's say it is a BRB screen and you've got a 10 second clip that played and then you have some kind of filler that's going on. You can have chat type something, a command to prompt the next clip to play if there's just a big gap. So just stuff to think about. Now the benefits of this is you don't have to hire a video editor. You can literally just drop more clips into the folder and have a completely randomized montage. And I don't think it's really that important, honestly, to have every single clip play from beginning to end in their full entirety and their length. The, the random nature of it can actually work to the benefit of your viewers because maybe they don't need to see the whole clip every single time. Maybe it's fine to only see, you know, 30 seconds of a one minute clip once and then later when it comes up they see 45 seconds of it or they see the entire minute i don't think it's really that important it hasn't really worked against me on my brb or starting soon screen to have the clips length just be kind of randomized so it's really up to you but let's get started with showing you how to set this up so here we've got streamer.bot i have an import code string which will be in the description below the video you're going to want to copy that entire block of code and you're going to want to say import. So you got to right click and then go to import. Then you paste that giant block of code in here and you will see it'll say it might say copy. It might say whatever. Mine's saying this because this stuff already exists. So I'm not going to actually import it. Go ahead and import it. And then you'll see this random video from folder. You need to set these top two settings to be specific for your computer. So you need to set this value under random video folder to point to a folder on your computer. And you need to make sure it has double backslashes between the folder names. If you don't have double backslashes, this won't work. Set up a folder, copy the folder path and paste it in here and then add an extra backslash in. So it's double backslashes all the way across. Then on this one, you need to set the value to the media source name that we're going to create an OBS. I'll show you that in a second, but basically you can create a media source and it just has to be named this. You can call this whatever you want. Random clips, we'll call it random clips. Hit okay. So now let's look at OBS together. What you're gonna wanna do is create a scene that has your media source in it and whatever kind of background filler that you want to have going on inside of the scene. So this is our media source here. So I'm going to rename this random clips. So make sure it says the same thing here. We named it random clips. So we called this random clips in the settings. You're going to want to make sure it's set to either loop. If you want to loop shorter clips on your, for your playback length, or you want to uncheck loop. If you want it to just kind of play the, the clip and then just go away. I have another layer here called static. This is a video of just random static playing in the background. And so what this kind of amounts to is this, a static background. And then when a clip gets played, if it's not a full minute long, it just shows this kind of static background instead of the clip. 
So now let's set up streamer.bot so that we can change the random video and set a timer up and control the visibility of the media source. Okay, so the first one we have here is we want to change the media source to be a random clip in the folder. So the code for this will be also be in the description block below. It'll be the giant wall of text underneath. So make sure you're copying the correct ones here. There will be two in the description box below that will allow you to set this up. But basically this one has a action which links to this random video folder action. So we do that. This will swap the media source to a random file. Then we show the media source. So we turn on its visibility. We're going to delay. For now, I'm actually going to change this. And this is where you could actually set this to be random if you wanted to. So we could set this to be uh, 3 seconds to 30 seconds. And so the clip will play for three seconds, which is probably too short. But for this, I want to just show you that it is working um, to up to 30 seconds. I suggest you set, set it from 30 seconds to whatever the maximum length of your max clips are going to be. So the maximum length of a clip is one minute. So you'd probably want to set this to one minute if you're going to use clips from your stream to do this. You have to think about your maximum clip length size. So we're going to go from three seconds to 30 seconds. And we're going to hit OK. And then after three seconds or 30 seconds or somewhere in between those two numbers, we're going to end up with this other visibility source state, which then just turns the media off. The clip source will now be hidden. And that's it. This is all you need to get started to have a random clip play. So I'm going to hook this up to a hotkey. I'm going to use Control Alt Shift 3 to trigger this. And the other ways you could trigger this would be to use a timed action. You could say, you know, ran, random video every, let's make this um, 30 seconds was our, uh, third, this is seconds, not milliseconds in here. So you want to be careful with this. So every 30 seconds, it will trigger a new clip. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to hit Save. And now we're going to watch OBS here. I'm going to turn this clip source on. And we're going to trigger one manually. Boom. There is a clip. Hi. Now we've got a clip that's being pulled. Target spotted. And it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's how you do it. Okay, so now we've got the timer set up. Every 30 seconds, a new clip will be played automatically. And I can also trigger it through a hotkey. So because I don't have it set to loop, it will not loop shorter clips. It's just gonna show this static background. You know, we're gonna see the clip play to whatever length it is. So if it's shorter than whatever the delay is, like that, it's just gonna cut out. Now if I turn loop on, you'll notice that the video will just loop and loop and loop. And the only thing that's gonna trigger its change Hey. All right, so you can see that the videos are looping, and it will just loop and loop and hello? loop, and we don't need that static background. The only thing that will trigger its change is going to be the timer or whatever you want to set up, if it's chat commands or channel point redemption or whatever it is. You can have a bot trigger the change. You can have chat ch trigger the change. You can have a timer trigger the change. It's really, really flexible. If you don't think your chat is going to be that active um, and be able to change the clips for you, just put it on a timer or have a bot say something in the chat that will then trigger exactly the same way that you would have chat do it. You could have a bot participate in the changing and just set that to do it every 30 seconds. So it's kind of up to you guys. We, you know, you want to be clever with this. You want, you want to make sure you, you, you want, you want to kind of have a plan to execute this properly. And, um, you know, it's up to you guys. So play with the settings, get creative with this. So here's what it looks like on my stream. Good like posture. <laughs> Egg challenges. You better watch out for me. Kicking ass, taking chewing bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Posture, I'm laying down. Oh, yeah. I'm all snooty and laying down. <laughs> oh. 
So what I've done here is I've put in some background music, the static background, uh, that little heart-shaped thing in the middle, and the clips. And then I've also put in a small clip that kind of covers the transition between the background and the foreground and with that little sound effect to cover the transition, the little warpy video signal to go in between um, no clip playing and a clip playing. So you can get creative with this. You can have it trigger and get really complicated. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.